All right, who are we talking to? David Tabor, Dolce Resident DJ. And tell us about Dolce Lounge. What is it? Where is it? Why is it? All that. Dolce Lounge, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Uh, we've been Dolce since May of 07. Uh, we have events Tuesday through Sunday uh, with a variety of different kinds of music, different kinds of clientele. Uh, also, we're a great restaurant. If you like Mediterranean food, you've got to come by and try it. Will not be disappointed. Um, great place if you want to do like a dinner and dancing night with significant other, or if you want to just come out and hang out with your friends, with the fellows or the girls. Great spot to be. What's the address? 17 Broad Street. What's the MySpace? MySpace, www.myspace.com slash Dolce Lounge MJ. Who are some of the guest DJs you've had here? Uh, great question. We've had a good variety. Everybody from Harry Chicho Romero to uh, Ted Patterson, Tony Humphreys, Little Louis Vega, uh, Nicholas Guitar. We've also had some of the local guys, uh, Manny the Greek, Danny Chettos, DJ Unique. Um, we've had a pretty good variety of guys from both like, the more commercial mainstream side to the deeper house guys to the tribal, more progressive guys as well. Try to keep it fresh. Tell us about each of the different nights. I know you have a LBGT night. GLBT night. GLG, GLBT For those of you who don't know what GLBT is, it's gay, lesbian, bi, and transsexual. Uh, what can I tell you about it? We just launched it. Uh, what night is that? Thursday. It's what's called Touch Thursdays. We launched it June 19th. We had a great, great uh, turnout for our first night. It's, in my opinion, what's going to be probably the strongest night for the venue once it's established. Um, we're getting excellent feedback. The music, from what I understood, was was excellent. Everybody was very happy with the product that we presented them, and I can't wait. It's definitely the most fun night of the week to play, I'll tell you that much, because they absolutely get into the music. They, they respond, and whatever energy, uh, from a DJ's perspective, that I give to them, they give it right back, and I love it. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, you're the resident DJ. What nights do you play? Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, and for those DJs, bedroom or otherwise, that are interested in getting booked at Dolce, what do you look for when you when book a DJ? First part is, is making sure that there's an understanding that we tend to do things in advance. Um, personally, as this good business practice, I try to keep my bookings two months in advance just to give ourselves proper time to market the event correctly and make sure that any requirements are made and met by that date. So that's the first thing they have to understand. Second, I need to listen to a demo to know what what they play like, what their sound is, whether they're, they'll fit for a Friday or Saturday or a Tuesday or a Sunday, if they're an open DJ, if they're a closing DJ, if they're a prime time DJ. Um, and that's really what I look for. I also look for guys that are a little hungry. I, mean, I, want, I would like to see people who bring at least five or ten people with them, that's it. I'm not asking for 100 or 200 people because there's other people who work in those positions here. I, I just want to see somebody who just tells a couple friends, come hang out, hear me play. That's all I look for, really. What would be a reason why you would not book a DJ? You know, I, I'd love to be that, that person that says, because you didn't book me or you gave me shade in the past, I'm not going to book you. But that's not me. I do what's best practice for the business. Um, I can't say there's too many DJs I won't book. Um, what I will say is you just have to fit into what we're doing. And if, if I feel as, a, as the event director that what you're bringing to the table sound-wise isn't going to fit, I'm not going to book you because I'm a firm believer in not setting up people to fail. I want people to succeed. And if what they're bringing or what their product is isn't going to work, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. That's fair. Um, as a resident DJ, how would you describe your DJ style? Well, I'm all over the place. Yeah, honestly, I, I went from being Mr. Deep House and Garage and Vocals and Soulful to now I play everything from that style to electro to tribal to if I have to some old school hip hop mashups whatever it takes and that's my position as a resident DJ my job as a resident DJ is make sure that whoever walks through that door stays in the place and that's my job 
So whatever it takes to meet their responsibilities, what I will do at this point. What record never leaves your crate? That's a really good question. House of Gypsy, some side say. Never leaves really because for whatever reason that record just works every time for every crowd. Never fails. Um, what's next for Dolce Lounge? Trying to bring in different promoters. I, I, I would like to see promoters that work at different venues maybe once a month here. Um, I really would like to see this JLBT night take off. That's really where my primary focus is right now. Um, we also want to see if we can we can try different things to include the restaurant as well. Dinner dancing things, where I think which would be great if you have a significant other, you would come out and have dinner, and you run to the back and party your ass off the whole night. So there's those those are some of the more immediate things in the future. I'd like to see a record label. I'd like to see an internet show, maybe like broadcasts. I, the sky's the limit, man. That's one thing I can tell you. I'm overly ambitious and. I'll go as far as I can with something. So, whatever viable means of media that are available at the time, that's probably as far as I want to go. And how do people get to Dolce? Um, you can take the train to Elizabeth. New Jersey Transit takes you right to Elizabeth. We're three blocks away from the train station. Um, so, as long as you can take New Jersey Transit, you can get here. Um, we are approximately 10 minutes off the New Jersey Turnpike. We are 15 minutes from the Garden State Parkway. We're right off of one and nine. Uh, we're 20 minutes away from New York City, 15 minutes away from Staten Island. So we're, we're definitely in a, in a good location for people to get to. It's not that hard to get here. Plenty of parking too. That's the other good thing about us. Tons and tons of parking. All right, finally, we're at the end. Oh, uh, David Tabone, Dolce Lounge, event director slash resident DJ. 17 Broad Street, Elizabeth, New Jersey, www.myspace.com slash Dolce Lounge MJ. Beautiful.